Hi. Hi, how are you, teacher? Fine, thanks. Could you please tell us something about yourself? Okay, sure. Um, my name is Abdurrahman Amri. I'm 11 years old. I'm from Saudi Arabia. Um, uh, teacher, I don't know how to do this myself. How are you doing, bro? Fine, thank you. How's everything? I'm fine. You look upset, bro. What's wrong? I can't lose myself well. Oh, God. I think that you don't have to feel upset at all because today you are so lucky we have a lesson about how to introduce yourself in detail. But before I say the ball rolling, I'd like to ask you a very simple question. Have you ever gone on a journey without having a map? I think that you cannot do anything without having a map because you don't know where the hospital is, where the bus stop is, where the gas station is, where the bank is. So you must have a map to guide yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Likewise, if you want to talk about yourself, you must have a mind map. Mind map? What is that? Actually, it's not that long story. Just have a seat and enjoy learning with me. Okay. Welcome back, my dear friends all over the world. Today, we have a very nice and very juicy experience we're going to get through together. Today, we are going to talk about how to introduce ourselves in English. And I think that it's a very common question. You will know these things when you want to talk about yourself. And you should remember them so that you can feel so confident. So if you want to express yourself, you must use a mind map. Now, some guys always complain about this. They always say that mind mapping takes a lot of time, but it doesn't at all. Just believe in it and you will find out yourself that mind mapping doesn't take a lot of time and you can kill two birds with one stone. Number one, you can remember the ideas you're going to express. Number two, you can organize your thoughts in a very awesome way. So please, if you want to introduce yourself, you should remember these things. Number one, your name. You can say, my name is. Then, the age, I am, 15 years old, 16 years old, etc. Then we have the country, I am from Japan, Saudi Arabia, uh, Jordan, Palestine, etc. Then we have job. You should say, I'm a teacher, I'm an engineer, I'm a scientist. Then, after that, you can tell us some information about your favorite hobbies. You can say, my favorite hobbies are reading, jogging, swimming, etc. And finally, you finish your introduction with your dream or dream. So you can finish it like this. My dream is to be an engineer, a professor, an inventor, a biologist, and so on and so forth. So look, it's very simple. You should introduce yourself this way. You can say, my name is Osama Mukbil. I am 33 years old, I am from Jordan, I uh, am a teacher, I'm an English teacher actually, I have been teaching English for almost 11 years at different international schools. Um, my hobbies are playing soccer, watching TV, particularly you know, uh, documentary movies. Uh, my dream is to be a professor at a university. You can tell us some information about your family. It's not that big problem actually. You can say, I have three brothers and two sisters and so on and so forth. Now we are going to listen to our friend one more time. You have much information about the topic. I think that you are much more confident than before. So believe in yourself and do it. Could you please introduce yourself to us? Yes, sure. Um, Go ahead. My name is Abdurrahman Al-Amri. I'm 11 years old from Saudi Arabia. My hobbies are to play soccer, play with my friends, talking, I like deep talks, um, and basically I like discussions. And my dream is to be a biologist. Um, Could you tell us some information about your family members? Yeah, I have two brothers, mm -hmm. and um, they're both older than me, like six, five years. And uh, my dream is to be a biologist and an author. Um, an author, I mean, I like documentary movies, and I like to watch cartoons, movies, and so on and so forth. Wonderful. That's a great. And remember that nothing is impossible. And impossible is nothing. So when you practice, don't forget to practice with positivity, with passion, with enthusiasm, with optimism, and with determination. I'm sure that five years ago, you were so poor at English, and now you're improving so greatly and very dramatically. So believe in yourself, and just remember that practice makes perfect. Thanks a lot. High five one more time. Thank you very much.